I've been playing Roblox for a few years now, and I've seen good games, and I've seen some very bad games, but I don't really make games, so I decided to make a game to answer this question. How hard is it to make a Roblox game? I mean, there's so many games out there, and a lot of them just like look like the same game, just retextured and like a few things change. Like all the pet simulator like games and like the arm wrestling simulator like games. Like, so how hard can it really be? Okay, this was the first idea, which took a lot of time and we couldn't get the code to work, so that's why we stopped making it. Now, you might be thinking, we. Who is we? Well, I tried making this game on my own, but then my friend Tucker was like, uh, so you, I, I see you're making a game, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll sponsor the game, uh, if you let me join. So I let him join, and having more than one person does actually make it easier to make a game in general. If we ever had problems with the code, we could just ask each other for help. This game was, like, trying to be, like, Pet Simulator, if you've ever played it. Except, uh, it's poop, cause we haven't seen a game like that and we were trying to be different. We made 8 areas and some of the code still works. I was planning on adding a bunch of quests that you could get different items that was only available from the quests. Kinda like Bee Swarm Simulator. But we never got around to that and we slowly stopped working on it. But I really liked working on it, so if this video does good enough, I'll go back and try and finish it. I'm really happy with some of the areas and how I made them different with different mechanics. The sewers, if you touch the ground, you die. The car area where if you get hit by the poop cars, you die. Once the game's progress started slowing down, I started uh, making a different game because my friend wasn't around as much, so I thought it could be faster and it could be better. The second game I worked on on my own and had many different styles changed to it. At first it was a 2D cookie clicker game which I haven't seen on Roblox before, which is kind of odd because it seems like a kind of a common idea, but after making all the GUIs and stuff it seems to be too complicated and I thought it would be easier to make it a different way. This is probably why no one else had this idea. They probably had the idea, then did what I did, and it didn't turn out well. I decided to make it just a button at the bottom that you click and get cookies, which worked for a while, but when I was following the tutorial on how to make a cookie clicker game. But then I tried to add my own stuff to it and ruined the code, and now I don't know how to fix it, so I tried to fix it, but then I made it worse, and now I think the game's unfixable, which is a shame because I really like the game I. Yeah. This game has a lot of problems with it, which is why I abandoned it, but I do think I'm starting to understand Roblox code more easier, which could be helpful if I ever go back and fix this game. Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you, this game's probably the worst one that I made, but I tried my best and that's all that matters, right? So Roblox has these free templates that you can use, so I may have, you know, used the Line Runner game and changed it to kind of look like the Dino Running game, but I didn't change it too much, and didn't do any coding because I was done with coding. I did try to add a saving to server kind of thing, but I gave up after like two hours and it still didn't work. So sure, this game might not be the best, but I'm still gonna advertise it. So. This game might be the worst one, but I still bought 400 Robux to advertise the game. Which is a lot of Robux for me, because I usually don't like to buy in-game coins. Now, there's two different ways you can advertise your game, and it's either with those little banners that you see on the side of Roblox if you're, like, in your home area, or the sponsored game area of Roblox, a little category. Now, I'm not good at making any banners. I mean, look at my YouTube banner. It's not too good, but I did make an icon, and it looked kinda good, which I really liked. So I decided to just do a sponsored game instead of the banner. I also didn't want to be in a bidding war that Roblox does with banners, because I feel like 400 Robux are not gonna get me that far when it comes to a bidding war. So after making some icons for the game and two game passes that do nothing, and made just in case, I made a two day 200 robux per day sponsor. So after two days, here's what happened. 
So it got 80,000 impressions and 138 clicks and only 70 people actually joined the game and nobody favorited it. And according to Roblox, the CPP was 7 Robux per play, which I, I don't think is good. So overall, it did not seem like the game was well received. And overall, I think the sponsor was a fail. No one bought the Game Pass. I'm not surprised because they did nothing. So I think if the game was better and I'd spent more time on icons, it could have been a more successful sponsor. In the end, I've learned a lot. I always thought making a Roblox game was going to be easy because of all the games that are basically rescreened versions of each other. But what I've learned is most of the time, these big games are not made by like one or two people. It's made out of a team of developers and playtesters. Like what? I joined a random Discord and there's like seven developers and like 15 playtesters. Like what, man? I've also learned how hard it is to make a game. Like, it's so hard. I barely even made one if you can even count that. So this has been a really fun experience. So overall, I'm happy to say I might try this again someday. Not, not anytime soon. Do not expect that. I am done with Roblox for now. Thank you for watching. My videos aren't all like this. So if you like the way I make videos and not the game itself, maybe like and subscribe and I might even see you next time.